This is Gibby Scrapper out here in Doghouse again. Thank you for stopping back by. Uh, previous video I done a CRT, so now what I'm gonna do is we're actually gonna show you what I'm out to retrieve off the circuit boards on these. Uh, show you everything I save and see what I want to keep. Some of this that's useless, I'm gonna send it on with my boards as a low-grade board. So let's get on this. Uh, hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Okay. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clean my wire. So i got to get the wire off of here. That was not going to go to my boards. I cut as close as I can to the, the items. This one here is low grade insulated. These are low grade insulation. They're just thin copper wires. What I why well, class it low grade? We got a bunch of wires in here. Let's get it turned around here. Hopefully, you can see it better. We got a wire down in here. Let's go in there and get it. A few wires in there. <laughs> Okay, let's get this clip off of there. We'll go in here, pop these wires off the board. There, those are loose. Let's snip these wires. You'll notice I take all the ends off of my wires just in case. Uh, that's not magnetic. But she's gonna go in here. In my insulated wire bucket. Let's free up that one little board. Came off the top of that picture too. I can get about 50 cents a pound on these boards, basically. And that's why I don't send my copper out. Now, I could send a low grade copper wire in, get 50 cents, but I'm not doing that. I'm getting about a dollar a pound per insulate my insulated wire, low grades. As of right now, I might change when the market changes. We all know copper wire fluctuates in prices. And right about the time you want to take it in is when the prices drop. <laughs> That's the way it does for me anyway. I hope you guys have better luck than I do on that one. Okay, now we got this wire here. It's low grade insulated. Uh, we'll pull this loose. I will strip this wire. Small amount. Uh, I'm going to leave that wire as insulated. I'm leaving that on the board. Sending that out. Oh, we got some of the MOSFETs, I believe they call them. We're going to take that. It's got a copper plate in it. We'll process them. And I believe, if I remember right, they got a three gold bond wires in them. For however many legs is on there. The bond wire goes to each one of them legs. Ah. Uh, Love it when I drop them on the floor. I have to pick them up later. Okay. I do not see nothing more on here that I'm interested in. So this is going to go in my low grade boards. And they can claim whatever they want out of that. I claimed what I wanted. We got uh, a couple bolts here. Take them out. More plastic. We got wiring here. Get rid of this plastic real quick. So we'll snip the wire off.
Here. I'm gonna throw that in plastic. I know it had a little tin in it, but I'm not too worried about that. Okay, now piece of aluminum. Put my screwdriver in there, just twist it off. Like so. Guys, I talked to you earlier about last time about smokers, which I don't have a problem with it. I'm a former smoker myself. You smoke that's your choice, and I believe that wholeheartedly. So don't ever think I'm trying to degrade people that do smoke. I'm in America. I believe in your right freedom, man. Some people don't here in the States. They try to tell you how you're going to live your life. That's just not right. But I'm not going to get on that spill. I can talk to you forever on that. There. I got my aluminum out off of here. Now, I've got a little bit of steel on this. Piece of brass sitting here. This here's aluminum. Make sure it's all aluminum. There's a hip. Just got my brass and a piece of steel right there. So I'm going to use my pliers to pull it bolt out of there. Maybe. And then that brass should go in my brass container. There we go. Steel, brass, and aluminum. Okay, there's a piece of brass. We have some more aluminum here. We're going to take it. This is going to be more challenge. Let's pull this piece of steel off. Maybe. There we go. You guys, I'm not going to have very many videos during the winter time. I'm trying to get what I can. But when it's cold, it's an issue with me on that. Uh, I do want to give you guys as many videos as possible. I just ask that you work with me here. Not that I forgot you. I love doing this stuff. I'm more comfy with this camera now. Uh, before, I was just a little camera shy. Starting to get over that. Okay, uh, I'm using a pair of style pliers for this so I can get a hold of this and twist that off. And then we'll get this piece of aluminum. here would have a gold bonding wire with copper in this so I'm taking them they may not have it but I take them save them just in case same way with this one that's gonna have copper there so we're gonna keep that that little plate I showed them on the last video We're saving that. Now, I am saving my oscillators. I don't know why it takes so long to get into that. Thinking about trying to run it on a grounding wheel and do a multiple uh, tasks with them. Taking more than just one. 
a time taken. I'll just figure something out. I'll get that silver somehow. I just hope it don't take me forever to get it. Uh, here's another oscillator. And I found a flat oscillator or a little rectangular. We're going to take that out. A little bit of oscillator here. Now, what I like doing getting these, they're going to be a challenge to get off there. So I use a, a wood chisel and I'll pop that off. All I got to do is break one side loose, save my IC pieces. I'm going to do that on both of these. them. I found that's the easiest way I'm going to get them. Unless I want to use electricity and use a dremel. Cut one side of the legs. Put all these in my IC buckets. Uh, let me get a hold of that. See if I can get that off there. There we go. I don't see any gold on this. But with my eyes, it's hard to tell. I got one more IC, small one. I grab a hold, twist it. This mine. Put this around. I got another IC sitting there. We're going to take this IC. Make sure I get them all so I don't have to fight it. Now we got to save that I see. I do want this little box here. A lot of times these boxes, they have a coil wire. This one does have a coil wire. I just heard it cracking. Let's see if I can get it this direction. There we go. And some brass in this one, looks I see. But you get this box. And if I take that kit, that case off of it here, normally it breaks break loose. Okay. I'm just doing this quick so I can show you guys what we have here. Why I'm after that. You got contacts in here. And the contacts are what I'm after. That looks pretty. See my copper makes me happy. You can see what I'm after now. You see that copper sitting there? We get this base off of it. There we go. She's coming. Now Let's get the copper. You got this copper wiring here. These contacts. If you look, this is either going to be silver or sometimes gold on that. These are silver. I'll strip them out. Reclaim that. Got another MOSFET here. We'll pop that loose. Not so hard to do these. You just gotta understand what you're taking off, where you where you're going at what you're going after, what you want to keep. If you're starting out, I'd take this off. I'd strip the wires. We're not leaving this wire behind. It's too close to come up being done there. There. So that wire is done. Okay, one more thing I want to check before I let go of this. I mentioned on the last video with the CRT, these sometimes they have uh, 
thing in there that I'm after I saved. So let's open this up. This is the right side I want. Okay. Let's see if I can get a hold of that now with a good pair of pliers and pull that off. Should have popped off already, but that's beside the point. Just starting out scrapping. You guys will want to go in here. You'll want to claim this copper. You guys got problems getting a hold of copper? There you go. A lot of people turn this copper. They don't need to go after that copper. It's too small of a mount for us to mess with. Come on. Here we go. Too small amount of copper for me to mess with this. But you get your pair of like needle nose flat tips on them. You grab a hold of them. Let me get a hold of one here show you. Get a hold of one, twist, pull it out. There you go, there's your copper. Easy to go. Now here we go, here we got a the IC chip hiding in here. I'm going to save them. I'm not sure, but I do believe this may be a tandem capacitor. I'm not sure on that. So I'm not grabbing it if I'm not sure. I will send it someplace else where they're more familiar with them. Because I'm not. And to me, that's all I got, guys, for this. So I hope you enjoyed the circuit boards out of a CRT television picture tube uh hopefully you can benefit from some of these things if you like the video please like comment and share i'd be honored if you subscribe uh, it helps my channel out and until next time i want you to have a safe and profitable scrapping experience this is gibby we're gone